Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the Jabbering Magpie. I have come to take you to the unfathomable depths, a journey through mystery, the macabre, misery, and all such malarkey. Nice bit of alliteration with the M's there, I have to say so myself. Yes, today we're on Darkest Dungeon, and I don't know what a relief it is, because... Ah, uh, this game is an absolute bastard to record. It doesn't seem to want to work on anything. I think I have fixed it now, so if anybody else is having troubles, please do send me a message and I'll explain what I've done. And hopefully we'll sort things out. Anyway, let's watch the lovely intro cinematic. Due to the fact the narrator makes me, quite frankly, semi-turgid as his voice is like warm caramel subtly singing me a sweet song into a slumber. Sorry, I'm stuck on alliteration. Anyway, intro. Ruin has come to our family. Mm. Fully you turgid You remember now. our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. No, I don't. Does it have a pool? I lived all my years in that ancient rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets. Exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. We were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. That's very nice, but you didn't tell me if it had a pool or not. Ugh. Anyway, if you were just sort of stuck in a little sanctuary of audio bliss, as I was, and you weren't exactly listening to what he was saying, just how he said it. Let me fill you in. Essentially, that was like our dad or something, and he's wrote his letter home saying, Son, I've accidentally summoned Cthulhu into the basement. And I am no property magnet, but let me tell you, summoning Cthulhu into the basement of your home really does a number on the resale value. So, we're going to go along, we're going to clear Cthulhu out, we're going to do up the house a bit, and then we're going to sell it off for a nice tidy profit, because the property market is right now in a boom. So, let's go help the bubble along. And then maybe once we've sold it, we'll buy a little Pied del Terre somewhere, perhaps in Malaga or Tuscany. Let us name it the Estate of De Ordinesa. I rather like that name. Now, more cutscene! Hmm. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. Yay! There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, 
you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. My favorite kind of terrors, hippie. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell. But in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Okay, are we redeemed yet? Now this is a section where it always broke for me when trying to record, so fingers crossed. And here we are, yes. Some dick has crashed our cart, which is why we should have taken National Rail. So we're here with Reynald, the Crusader. Let's change him back to his basics. There's no outfit like the old outfit. He's God-fearing. He can only pray. He likes to steal shit. Uh, but he does extra damage in the light. This is Dismas. He has a hard head, so we resist stun. He's speedy. However, he's not allowed to gamble because he is a cheating wee fuck. Brigands Off we trot. Have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. Now let's pray a random ahead. number god doesn't decide to kill us all. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion that all may hear of your arrival. Slash. Oh, double damage. Fantastic. Oh, and a miss. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. That could have gone a bit better. Oh, 500 gold. That's not bad at all. So, what's in his tent? 125 gold. There is much to be found in forgotten places. It may seem like a lot, but it's this game's equivalent of a fucking pittance. An ambush. Send right. these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and oh, their kind is no longer aura. welcome. Renald, hit him with your sword. <clears throat> hit the big bastard till he stops moving. Please don't call the bleed. Obliterated. Oh, we got the first crit of the game. And he seems angry, we killed his buddy. Sorry, friend. Renald starts slashing away at him. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Ooh, what did we get? We got a trinket. That's not too bad, actually. And a bunch of money. We'll have it all. Now let's get the fuck out of here, due to fact. This chest is the game's way of telling you what the hell's going to happen. Ooh, something doesn't look quite right. It's trapped. Now we've just given Renal the plague, so, um, fuck it. Money, money, money. And two deeds. Alright. They've gained some quirks. Let's see if they're good or bad. Oh, the bad. He's scared of the dark. He's, however, evasive. But he does no damage. Shit, he's got a cough. Oh, and Rodismus has the Black Plague. Well, this is bad. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now. Thanks, Dad. And you are Dad. bound to them. Fuck it. We should have just sold the land, taken what little money we could have got, and moved to Thailand. Anyway, news just in. Reynald and Dismas successfully escorted you to the hamlet whilst caught enough dreary diseases to wipe out a small civilization. This is the caretaker. He sends goals for us, of which we probably won't complete any. So let's have a look around. What? We've also installed a glossary. Let me share with you the terrible wonders I have come to know. Nope, don't need that. Graveyard! Most will end up here. 
covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Jesus, you're optimistic, Dad. That's, again, the caretaker just taking piss. I expect this to be chock-a-block with dead people. Probably plague-filled bandits. In time, you'll know the tragic extent to my feelings. Stagecoach. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Okay, so we have Adene, the Plague Doctor. Shit, she doesn't have the best skill, which is blinding gas. And she misses a lot. However, she's good at healing at camp, so... Um... Now, in fact, Adene is a good enough name for a Plague Doctor. You will probably die. Let's have her. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? And... this is Poer. She at least has a healing skill. And is scared of everything. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This is pa good. So, these are the two characters you always end up with at the start. A Plague Doctor and a Vestal. First thing you want to do, always, increase your stagecoach network by two. More arrive, foolishly seeking fortune and glory in this domain of the damned. Yeah, whatever. Come on. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. Okay, mission objective. Skirmish. Unholy abominations turning the light against itself. Meet them in battle and learn how they fight. So, we just gotta kill things in rooms. Good amount of gold, a redemption armlet. So, let's head out, shall we? The usual suspects. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. So, this is how I usually start out. To be honest, you don't really need the holy water, but things like this are good investment. When they pay off, they pay themselves off and multiple others. So even if we get one thing that needs a shovel, a skeleton key, or a holy water, we should be able to pay off the uh, investment. Let's head in. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Oh, and the map is an annoying, twisty, turny bastard. Iron Maiden. Poe, you're already scared of everything in the world. Open it up, see if there's anything good in there. And the sack is empty. Ah! Our first foes of the new campaign. Judgment! And... Slash! And miss! Now we have the Blight! Or even more Blight than we did have previously. Zealous accusation! Oh, for feck's sake! Dismas, grape shot blast. Adane can't hit shit. Dismas has to play. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. You feel faint. Good. That's probably the plague. As the fiend falls, finish them off. A faint hope blossoms. Faint hope for who? It's definitely not me. Let's light torch. We'll play this campaign nice and safe until we get rid of all these ailments we appear to have acquired. Sax contents are ours. Let me see, big fat one, a cutthroat, and a fusilier. Probably best to heal up Adonai. 
then we just start wailing on the blood letter. Mission objective of this game is usually as follows. Kill them before they can kill you. And now the enemies have protection and stuff, so plague, grenades and all that. Have a new lease on life. Fire at Brigand Fusilier. Oh, one hit point. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Minus one. And... He's dealt with. Next turn he shall die. So... Let's plague him. Or blight him. Or whatever. And also let us bleed him. Prodigious so he's taking 5 points of turn damage per turn. Blade. Shit, people really do not like you, Adonai. Mostly the random number generator god. Yeah, stop your moping and... Christ, 10 points of damage. The bigger the beast. Over five the greater turns. The glory. Oh, we got a spade and a holy water. And a torch. Oh dear, sweet and savory Jesus, why are you still bleeding? Cover them in blight. Eldritch Pole! Shit. Well, at least she's good at melee. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Dismas, that was exactly what we needed. Um. Bash him with a mace. I don't know, good boy, you dodged it. Dazed. Shit. Reeling. About to break. Zealous accusation, get rid of the cultist and do damage to the big guy. Oh dear, oh dear. Um Or miss, you can do that, you can do that. And miss again. Okay, we start firing on him. And don't stop until he stops moving. How are you still bleeding? Poison him. And just, fuck it, be done with that one. God rock crane out. This Please let that be food. At least promises success. Now we've healed you up. Congratulations, you're in the back. Let's hope the skeleton key works. Yes, it unlocks a hidden compartment for Finding extra. The is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. 25 gold, a shit helmet, and a torch. Just what I always wanted. Right. Ooh, trap. Come on, Dismas. You got it. Maggots! These shouldn't be too much of a... Well, I say they shouldn't be too much of a problem, but... They seem to know who... Oh, for fuck... Heal him. Yeah, they seem to have discovered a weak link in our Such a chain. terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Zealously accuse them. God damn it, Adonai. I'm 
That was less effective than hope. That's alright, don't target. No. Good work, and I. Um. So we've got two, so if we target this back one here, his zealous accusation should finish these front two off. Good. Divine Grace, he'll add an eye again. Whilst they just nibble on you, Poe. And your stand! Magic! Play grenade! I'm replacing you for something more useful the first chance I get, I swear to god. Great, and in this position, Ronaldo is semi useless. So, let's bring them a bit closer. Play grenade, come on, do something. We've done it. We have actually done it. Those ones at the back should die on the next turn. Open him up. And poof, away that one goes. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow No, and no, don't open killer. the Oh for fuck's sake, Renar, you stealing cheating bastard. <gasps> oh the surprise, thank god. Surprise means kill them. Or miss them. How could you miss them? They were stunned and surprised and shocked. Heal yourself. Well, give them both the plague. And chop through him. Oh, stress time. Wonderful, stressy, stressy time. Blight him, because let's face it, his armor can't do shit against that. Debuff her. Cultist down. Yay, even more stress. Stunned and moved. Oh, this isn't good. And emboldening vapors on Renal. So you'll be dead on the next turn. Let's make it so you're dead on the next. Oh, killed her outright. And we're gone. Now we just need this guy's turn to come up. Toss another play grenade at him just for shits and giggles. Wow, six damage every turn. Blight is really effective. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Now let's continue adventuring. Locked sarcophagi. This is why if we carry only keys. Treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. And run our asses to the other side of the map. Just light a torch, no need to be stressed, Radiance, everybody. May we find victory. Bugger, this is not going too well as a first attempt. This room. Uh, 
And now into corridors unknown. But at least we completed the objective so we can run away and say it was a success. The light. Not that the we brave warriors will run away that much. Well, we're finding a nice ton of torches. And we know that all the rooms are clear. Aha! Uh -huh. Decorative urn. What Packs do we have? Laden with loot are often low on supplies. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Eat. Oh, for injury and despondence set the stage for heroism. Always resolve senses or cowardice. Oh, great! We have a severely depressed Vestal. And that's the last of it. We'll take the torch, and with that scouting, we know the mission's complete. Room by room, hall by hall, we reclaim what is ours. Whee! So what skills has everybody got? Dismas, you've got... Chance to turn a miss into a hit, that's pretty good. You've got minus 100 blunt resist, accuracy range skills, add an eye, that's what you want. Poa, you're also thin-blooded, and you've got extra chance of scouting and wield. You know there what? There is a great horror beneath the manor. Oh yeah, yeah, thanks, Dad. We just saw it. chaos that must be destroyed. Okay, awesome. So we got back alive. We need to send Adonai and Poa into recuperation. Um. Yeah, all together, not too bad. And the Abbey and the Tavern are now open, so we can send them away and do their thing. Who's in the stagecoach? Not a bad lot, but we will deal with that when we're back. Okay, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jabbering Magpie signing off. Tatty bye for now.